In the late 1960s, the British announced they would soon be leaving the Arabian Gulf for good, ending treaties that had bound them to the region for more than a century. British military power had kept the Arab people of the southern Gulf secure from enemy threats. British diplomats had dictated their foreign affairs. Now, the seven emirates and their rulers would have to stand alone in an increasingly complicated and dangerous world. One man saw that to survive, the seven must become one. Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan's vision of a federation of emirates was born long before the British decided to go home. But their departure was an opportunity to make the dream a reality. Some doubted it could be achieved. At the time, the Gulf Emirates were sparsely populated and poor. Most roads were desert tracks, many communities little more than coral and palm front houses. Clean water, electricity, proper health care and a basic education had only recently become commonplace. Abu Dhabi was exporting oil, which had also been found in commercial quantities in Dubai. Sheikh Zayed knew that building a nation would be a formidable task. With Abu Dhabi and Dubai both committed to the cause of federation, a deal was struck that would bring the United Arab Emirates into existence on December 2, 1971. In the days before federation, Abu Dhabi took time off to celebrate the fifth anniversary of the succession of Sheikh Zayed. Watching the festivities was the photographer Bruno Barbe, whose images have left us a unique record of those moments. Banquets were held. A grand parade marched down the Corniche, followed by fireworks and camel races. Bruno Barbe also shot the most anticipated event of all, a performance by Um Kulthum. The lady of Arabic song, Um Kulthum, arrived to a rapturous reception at Abu Dhabi airport, accompanied by her orchestra and entourage. She met with Sheikh Khalifa, the crown prince, then gave two performances for the sheikhs and thousands of fans in Abu Dhabi at a new concert hall specially built for the occasion. was given a fabulous pearl necklace as a thank-you gift from Sheikh Zayed. The necklace remained in the family after her death in 1973, but was sold at auction two years ago and has since returned to Abu Dhabi. On the eve of federation, Ras al Khaimah had not yet decided to join the Union of Arab Emirates when Iran used military force to invade the greater and lesser Tumb Islands. The local population were expelled and one of the defenders killed, prompting international protests and demonstrations on the streets. The United Arab Emirates was born on the morning of December 2, 1971. The six rulers of Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Sharjah, Ajman, Umm al Kaywain and Fujaira, gathered at the Majlis of Sheikh Rashid in Jumeirah, watched by the world's press and television. After signing the proclamation of union, the six rulers elected Sheikh Zayed as the nation's first president and Sheikh Rashid the first prime minister. <laughs> نرجو الله تعالى أن يكون هذا الاتحاد نواة الاتحادي شامل يضم باقي أفراد الأسرة من الإمارات الشقيقة التي لم تمكنها ظروفها الحاضرة من التوقيع على هذا الدستور. Outside, cannons blazed a 21-gun salute, and the audience watched as the nation's flag was raised for the first time. 
Among them was Sheikh Zayed's private secretary, Al Hajj Al Mihirbi, who still recalls the emotions on the president's face at the moment when his dream became reality. If you see him here, like his, see his face, you know, he's, he's looked the flag, but in something you see in his eye that he's thinking now, okay, no, I, I, we win now as a union. We are independent now. You know, when, when you have a dream and you wake up and there's a dream, but this is a real, real dream. If you see them, look his eye to the flag, you see? See his face, it is not angry and he is not face of a pretty call, no. It is natural. You can see, like, it's natural. Say, it is done. Some my dream. This is the flag. So they ask, they, they are looking to them why he's not pushed the, 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 the line. To, but he want to see the flag. That's, you see the, his face? He's a father. He's a, he's a master.